Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pigal 20's Bit Live series. This is number 83, and we are continuing the Len the the Coleman legacy actually with Lucas Harris. He's a 42 year old co pilot. So my late father Charles Harris died while sleeping peacefully. He left behind a kimono and cash assets of four million three hundred and ninety thousand eight hundred and twenty eight pounds. My sister and I each inherited two million one hundred and ninety five thousand four hundred and fourteen pounds. A burned CD of Thriller by Michael Jackson has come into my possession. Okay, let's take him to an exotic pet dealer. Oh. So Naomi and I have been married for 10 years. I've been diagnosed with depression. I joined social media. Your supervisor Grace approaches you and tells you she needs you to start putting in 12 hours a week, more hour, 12 more hours a week of unpaid overtime. It's best to agree to that if you don't want to get laid off. But you would hope to get paid while, while dropping your son Sasha off at school. Do you hear him tell his teacher about the sex toy he found in your underwear drawer? Grounding. Your supervisor, Grace, thanked you for your extra effort and informed you that you can start putting in normal hours again. Go to the doctor. Pardon me. You came home from the movie theatre to discover that your wife Naomi has taken £1,310 out of your dresser and used it to take all of her friends to an ASAP Rocky concert. Well, I demand that she gives me the money back. Uh... No, I meant all of it. You thief. I'm divorcing her. She should pay me. I'm not the old fashioned parent who's gonna. Your co worker Scarlett has been spreading rumours at work that you are loose. I'm gonna have a talk about that. that, wasn't very effective. Your ex-wife... No, no, no. You do not understand how a restraining order works. Your mother passed away at the age of 82. She died from syphilis. What was she doing having sex at that age? Thank you. While on a trip to the mall, you meet a woman from Ethiopia named Greet. She's a 69-year-old retire, retired naval officer. Tell her no. I'm now an airline captain. A Pakistani man named Kakela 
or Coachella wants to become your friend? Oh, I don't think so. Not if he's that crazy. On your way to the shooting range, you'll encounter a cool girl whistling at you. Am I sure I want to do that? I'm going to plead guilty. A gentleman named Arlo wants to become your friend. Arlo Grimwood. I'm just going to wish her well. Your friend Arlo has tickets to a Clay, a Clay Aiken concert and invites you to go with him. And now, no, I'm just going to let him go. Your eye is feeling irritated when, yeah, just go to the drink a smoothie. I don't think so. Give him the Heimlich maneuver. A dame you met on your way to the dentist has asked you on a date. Turn it into the authorities. While strolling through the park, you witness a doctor vandalising a convenience store. Call the police. Your girlfriend Kara passed away at the age of 81. She was killed in a bar fight. You went to eat at Cafe Spread Eagle with your buddy Clyde and you heard the server call you a wanker behind your back. I'm not leaving any tip. Get them a gift. On your way to a Jason Derulo, Derulo concert, you find a money clip. Keep it, it's mine now. Walk away. You and your little sister Bella are feuding about how deep a pan must be to be considered a pot. Apologise. It's hardly worth arguing over. Your little sister Bella passed away at the age of 81. She died from syphilis. What? You want to make a big change by drastically altering the way you look. It's not really drastic, but you know. Okay. So do I play a 60-year-old Ellie? 57 year old Paul, 53 year old Terry, or 50 year old Sasha? I'm going to play as Ellie. Your half brother Terry passed away at the age of 55. He fell off a cliff while admiring a view and died. Ooh, it's best to go and get that sorted. Pneumonia. You are asked at work to come up with a solution to the problem of pythons destroying a wetland ecosystem in your area. Set python traps. You and your friend are relaxing on a park bench inside a secluded rose garden. Your mother passed away at the age of 88. She died from complications from old age. And she wants to be cremated. Your co-worker Sarah wants to become your friend. 
Sarah Thatcher. Yeah, we'll do that. You saw someone call your son Rufus a snake. Insult him back. You called him a jerk. It's not really an insult, but yeah, you know. <laughs> You're having a difficult time focusing on your work with your co-worker Megan. Incessantly breathing loud and heavy right next to you. Ignore her. A gentleman named Niles wants to become your friend. While taking off your pants, you notice some welts on your body. You also discovered a number of odd-looking red spots on your body. Yeah, let's go and consult a doctor about that. Uh -uh. Kidnappers have taken your husband Robert and are holding him for some ransom. They are demanding $300,000 in cash for his safe return. £300,000 even. They warn you not to involve the police. Oh, I have to pay the ransom. Upon returning to work following a lunch break, you quickly discover your prized Bart Simpson Funko Pop has been stolen. A colleague informs you that your co-worker Megan just took it off your desk. Report to my supervisor. And go to the doctor. Retire and take a pension. You and your half-brother Paul are arguing about whether or not you had sex on his bed. Let's apologise. Your husband Robert is asking you to take him to the theatre. Will you agree to take him to see Rising to the Occasion, a sports film? Of course he would enjoy it more. Your best friend Sarah just handed you a pirated copy of the movie Scarface. Saying you can keep it if you want. Take it or don't take it or insult her. No, I'm going to have it. Your best friend Sarah has tickets to a Pitbull concert and invites you to go with her. Your husband Robert is asking you to take him to the theatre. Will you agree to take him to see the science fiction film Robot of Darkness? Um, I'm going to go and help. While lounging by the pool, your best friend Sarah confesses that she is feeling insecure about her body and wants to get plastic surgery. Tell her to do it. Yeah, just let the bastard go. Okay, we're going to go house shopping at Maguire and Skywalker Realtors. Oh, we can't afford a chateau. Ooh. Can we afford an Art Deco home? No. Now he wants a car. Let's go to Clyde's Automotive. Toyota 4Runner. Buy it with cash. No, thank you. Your half-brother Sasha passed away at the age of 78. He died of hepatitis C. It's mid-afternoon and you're exhausted and in a des in desperate need of a pick-me-up. 
Let's go for a quadruple shot latte. We are going to ignore that. Your half-brother Paul passed away at the age of 88. He died after suffering a stroke. Your husband Robert passed away at the age of 92. He died from measles. He wants to be buried. I'm leaving that. Your best friend Sarah says she needs to get out of town right quick and is asking if she can borrow your identification card for a few days. Help her make a fake ID, refuse her correct... No, help her make a fake ID. You can't have her using your ID. Your best friend Sarah passed away at the age of 93. She died of natural causes. A monster you met at the bar has told you that if you can take a package to Turkey for him, you can earn £10,000. Get someone else to do your dirty work. While at a red light, you hear another car blaring the backstreet boys with the windows down. What will you do? Make an angry gesture at him? Run him off the road or try to ignore him? Run him off the road. Okay, so Ellie Matthews. Do I continue as her 61-year-old daughter Nancy, 60-year-old daughter Martha, or 58-year-old son Rufus? Let's go for Nancy. She's a general manager. Your co-worker Jessica wants to become your friend. Jessica Martin. As long as friendship is all she's after. While enjoying a triple scoop cone with your friend Jessica, she admits that she is thinking about going on a diet and is asking for your opinion on the matter. Good advice. On your way to a Nick Jonas concert, a monk approaches you and offers to pay you $8,100 to take a duffel bag to New Zealand. Ah, oh, that'd be illegal. While sitting at a train station, you find a purse. Turn it in. Your friend Jessica has tickets to a Nipsey Hustle concert and invites you to go with her. Your friend Jessica has asked you to... Come to a home party at which the host will be presenting and selling Avon products. Oh, Your son Jude is asking you to pay for it. Yes, I'll do it. I am not going to have any part in that. Your little sister Martha has asked you to take her to do some gardening. Your friend Jessica just handed you a pirated copy of the movie Gravity saying you can keep it if you want. I'm not taking that. While touring a gym that you were interested in joining you accidentally walk into the men's locker room. Oh, uh, yeah. Let her go. You saw someone call your son Jude an imbecile. Yeah, just insult them back. Yeah, called him numb nuts. Okay. Your friends ask you how you want to celebrate your upcoming 80th birthday. What will you choose? Go antiquing. That's right, people. 
It will soon be your friend's 50th anniversary. What will you do? Give them a gift. You are eating lunch at your friend's house and she offers you a can of La Croix. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What will you do? Pour it down the toilet, tough it out. Do I look like an uppity young girl? Yes, please. <laughs> While sitting in a movie theatre, your leg starts twitching involuntarily. Yes, let's go to the doctor and find out what it is. Rest of leg syndrome. Don't. Your little sister Martha passed away at the age of 83. She died after suffering a stroke. A fellow named Elton wants to become your friend. Elton Edwards. Your friend Elton has invited you over to take speed with him. No way. Your friend Elton passed away at the age of 86. He died while sleeping peacefully. You have found yourself unusually confused in several different situations lately. You've also been having a difficult time recalling basic information. That's a strong concern. All diamonds. You want to learn to become proficient in a common party game enjoyed by the youth in your area. What will you focus on? Beer pong, flip cup or cornhole? And now I'm now down to the last member of the bloodline.